But we're leading up to Garbina Muguruza, Maria Sharapova. Time for our UTR breakdown of the day. Of course, it's the universal tennis rating, and it uses the competition score and history last 30 matches within 12 months to determine how you're playing right now. If you look at the rankings, Muguruza, the heavy favorite. She's number three, Sharapova's number 30. But this is where UTR comes in. And how about this? Maria leading Mar Martina both in UTR and clay UTR. Well, better results and more consistent, particularly on the clay the last few uh, tournaments, getting to the quarters in Madrid, semis in Rome. And on the other hand, Muguruza won lot know about this <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think for me the biggest thing is Gabinia has never beaten Maria Sharapova at the same time the last match they played was four years ago but uh, yeah I mean UTR it's been pretty right on the money it's we, we've, been calling, uh, we've been calling Magarusa 2016 champion which she is but she also she lost three of her last five matches coming into this event not a lot of momentum which is why Maria's uh, UTR for clay would be higher. I think Martina's absolutely right, though. I think career head-to-heads is a uh, much, much more of an indication, especially with these two. The range for Muguruza throughout her career has been incredible. At her best, she has been utterly dominant and incredible and dominant in huge matches. And then in other tournaments, uh, she's looked very ordinary. So you just don't really know what you're going to get. You know exactly what you're going to get with Maria. I think there's the competitive edge there. Um, and obviously the head-to-head, -head, the fact that they played here a few years ago and Mugu was up a set and had chances in the second to close that out. But then Maria comes back and wins the tournament. Muguruza's extreme have been a little more extreme, uh, so she'll need to be more consistent. I think the heavier balls will help her with that, okay. because again, the ball doesn't fly that much today, so that may be helpful for her. And remember, both of them are well-rested. Maria didn't have to play her last match, All Serena right. Williams, the walkover, and then Muguruza played just two games. Yes. They'll be fresh, they'll be ready. And here they are coming down the halls. What, what goes through your mind in this moment, Martina, as you're heading onto the court? Uh, well, it depends on where your mind is. Uh, maybe just getting, uh, not tripping and uh, getting the racket out of the racket bag. But yeah, I think they oh, just try um, to calm down before the storm and uh, just trust your game.